We just made this owl themed porch planter and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Who's ready for spring? Who's ready for a spring front porch leaner kit? We are, and we're gonna be joined by our friends Brad and Pocket Saw today, because not only are we making it a vertical leaner kit, we're gonna make it a vertical front porch planter kit. So we're gonna be building that planter, gotta have somewhere to put those spring daisies. And I made this design myself from a request from a patron, but Garrett got his hands on it and zhuzhed it up a little. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a, a one by 12 that was eight foot long. We need some quarter inch MDF. This is gonna be all of our little accent pieces. We're gonna need our wood glue to assemble our planner. And then of course some paints and we'll be using our Foxy Hughes paints. This is our indoor outdoor paint. This outdoor paint has all of those weather resistant properties. So it's gonna be perfect to paint your planner as well as the kit that's gonna go on the planter with our little owls on it. For tools, we're using a seven inch miter saw, a brad nailer, and our Aon Nova 14. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna start with making our planter cuts. We're gonna cut two pieces at nine and three quarter inches. Those are gonna be our sides. Then we're gonna cut two pieces at 11 and a quarter inches. That's gonna be our front piece and our bottom. And the rest of it is gonna be the vertical backer. It's okay. I'll take it out to the big brother. We'll get it done. It's all right. It's okay, Pocket. Take a break. Take a break. Now we're going to make the top pieces. We're going to take this large sheet of quarter inch MDF over to the Aon Nova 14 and cut out all of our accents. With the Nova 14 and the large bed size, we can cut the full kit on one sheet of MDF at one time. Now we will offer the SVG in smaller sections so that you can cut it on your desktop laser and assemble it onto the full backer. But with the large laser, we can do it all in one large cut. Here we are in Adobe Illustrator. This is the file I created for Garrett. This is our little leaner or porch planter. And she gave it to me to make a cut file. So first I zhuzhed it up just a little uh, bit. Yeah, somehow once I handed it to him, it turned out looking like this. I just uh, gave it a little interest. <laughs> and then I took this and I pulled it apart to make a cut file. And now we're gonna import this file into Lightburn. We'll import my SVG. I'm gonna hold shift and throw it on its side. Now all of my red lines are for cutting and all of my blue lines are used for scoring. And this is to place some of the other things like the owl's eyes and put the leaves back in. I'm gonna add some frames and tabs to this so that I can remove it from the laser a little bit better. And then we'll send this over to our Aeon Nova 14 to cut out. And because we're using the Nova 14, we're able to cut this in one sheet and we don't have to separate this into smaller pieces. So I'm excited to see how this looks as a one piece design. Three. Now we paint. We're gonna be using our Foxy Hughes paints. Again, this is an outdoor paint, so it does have that UV resistant, weather resistant, mildew resistant properties. We're gonna be using this foam roller. If you're not on this foam roller live, get on it because it saves tons of time. This, oh, oh. hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> these paints with these pouches are so easy to pour down right onto your board here. Because this board is untreated, you do want to paint it with outdoor house paint so it is sealed. And we're going to paint it on the front, back, sides, top and bottom. We're going to make sure every bar part of this board is covered with this exterior paint. And look how quick, boom, we're halfway done. 
Now it's time to paint all of our little top pieces or the accents. I have them all in a little frame with the tabs. We'll start with the we'll start with the tree and the letters. All right, and these are going to take several different colors of paint because this one's going to be really colorful. So we're going to start with our tree. It's going to be in Great Escape green and Moles Meadow. So that's going to be our light and dark green. We're going to use our three shades of pink. We're going to use Fantastic Fuchsia, Bunces Berry Blast, and Possum Pink. These are three shades of pink. That's for the different owls and some of our words. And then for the blues, we're going to use this Double Cross Denim. And then uh, probably a darker one over here. I'm going to grab this cunning cobalt. I think we need a dark blue and a light blue. And then, of course, we're going to do our tree in this. Are we going to use this light gray quicksand quartz? Yeah, and the tr I think the tree would look good. In the quicksand quartz. As long as it's got a nice contrast, I might have to play that one by ear. So, all right, let me get this out of the way so I can help you keep popping pieces out. Now the great things about the great thing about tabs, uh, when you're using such a large laser like the Nova 14, you're gonna have a lot of pieces and you're gonna be pushing a board through the laser. In this case, this was all this all fit on the yeah, board, all fit right in, in the, the bed. bed. But we can pick it up in one piece. We didn't have to pick up all the little pieces by using the tabs. Now the trick with tabs is, is to make sure that you have the right uh, setting so that the tab just holds on by a tiny little bit. In this case, we're just popping it out of its little frame. Garrett kind of circled everything in a frame so that we could lift it all out at one time. If you like this project, you can find the unfinished kit where you can make it yourself or the digital file in our store at kngmakeit.com. Or you can join us over on Patreon where you get access to all of our files and a whole community of like-minded laser crafters like yourself. And, and we, we love, love our, our patrons. patrons. Step four, it's time to assemble. We're gonna start by building our little planter box. We have our two nine and three quarters and our two 11 and a quarter. We're gonna use one of the 11 and the quarters as the front, and these two little guys as our sides. We're gonna run some glue down them, and then hit them with a one and a quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. <laughs> Ready, lovely assistant. All right, these nine and three quarters are your sides, and this one's gonna be your front. Attach the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
All right, here's our box. Now we're gonna attach it to the back. Yeah, so let me show you, show them the little lip. So there is still a little lip. See this little lip here? Yeah. That is gonna go face down and tuck right into the backer. Oh, first we need some glue. Right, so that's sitting on the bottom. Perfect. Now come around here. <laughs> I'm right handed. Planters all assembled. It's looking very planter-esque. Now you can fill each of these little nail holes with a little wood putty, touch it up, you know, sand it, and then touch it up with a little paint. Super simple. I don't think anybody will even notice them. Right, I don't think we're gonna do that right now, but we can go ahead and put the kit on right now. Yeah, now we're gonna start to lay out our kit, make sure it's gonna go where it's gonna go. This is a big kit, so you're definitely going to want to dry fit or lay this thing out first. Uh, so we make sure we've got all the pieces in the right spots. Oh, we don't want it hanging out too much, right? No, just the, just the pushing part. Now that everything's laid out, well not everything, the pieces that are gonna go on the planter, now that they're all laid out, we're gonna glue them down with some wood glue and then hit them with a little tiny 5 8 inch brad. The nail, not the guy. Just to make sure it sticks to the planter. Right, we just wanna make sure it stays over time. Oh, going in with the big guy first, huh? Well, I think it's best. <laughs> just get it out of the way. Everything seems dry. Let's stand her up and see what she looks like. Come on, owls. Who's ready to stand up? Tall for the ceiling. And before we, uh, there we go. I'm gonna show you with a little flower. Can't let me get it without a little flower. But now I think it needs a little something in the front. What do you think? Maybe a monogram? What are you thinking? 